What is up guys, Chase here, and welcome to another video here on KI5 Iori Hair and Radio. So for the last few years, I've been a ham since I got my tech license. I've probably used the Brand Meister network more than any other DMR network or really any other digital network. But that's the one that I've spent the most amount of time on, uh, playing around on and learning. So in those few years that I've had to play around with Brand Meister, I've come across several features that I thought were pretty interesting and I don't think a lot of people know that the Brandmeister network is capable of. And today I just want to talk about five features that the Brandmeister network has that I think you should be using. But first, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It just helps out the channel and helps this video reach more people. So with that being said, on to the video. So there's quite a few features that Brandmeister has. I personally think it is the most feature packed network out of all the DMR networks. And honestly, that's probably actually why I use it the most out of any other network. And it also has the best user interface, I think. And it's just really easier in general just to set up and get going. So the first two things I wanna talk about, I think a lot of people do know about this and are using it, but there's also a lot of people that are either new to ham radio in general or new to DMR that don't know that Brandmeister Network has this capability. So the first feature that I wanna talk about is the ability to make private calls on the Brandmeister Network using a radio ID. So on Brandmeister Network, you can actually do radio to radio contacts directly on the Brandmeister Network. So basically you could have two people trying to talk to each other and one of them has their radio ID set as a talk group and the other is calling them on that talk group or vice versa. So basically what that means is you can use your DMR ID as a private talk group. So basically to do that, you just set your DMR ID or radio ID the one that you get from radioid.net, you set that in your code plug as a private group, and you can use that as a private group to talk to multiple people or to go radio to radio with one other person. I've used it a couple of times. I don't really use that feature as much as I'd like to. I don't really know many people personally on DMR, only really done it actually with one other person. But like I said, you can use your radio ID or somebody else's radio ID to make direct contacts on Brandmeister network. Now, I will also say this, it works best on a hotspot. Some Brandmeister repeaters don't allow you to do that, and some will. It just kind of depends on the repeater owner and how they have their repeater configured. But on every hotspot, it does work, I can tell you that. I use it on my open spot, and I've done it on my Pi Star. So basically, that is just a way to make direct contacts with another person, if you know their radio ID, or you just put it in your code plug as a talk group and you can talk to each other. It's better than getting on a statewide talk group or a national talk group or international talk group or tying up one of the TAC channels when you could just call somebody on their DMR ID and talk to them that way. So like I said, that's something that is available that I don't always use all the time and I'd like to actually get into using a little bit more. And the second feature that I wanna talk about is the ability to use APRS over DMR on the Brandmeister network. But like I said, I think a lot of people either know about this and they don't use it or there's people that are new to DMR or ham radio in general, and they don't know about it. Now configuring DMR APRS on the Brandmeister network to work on my Anytone 878 and my Ready Oddity DB25D was actually not very straightforward. I had to do a lot of searching and read a lot of articles. It took me quite a bit to actually set it up, but it's actually the only way I've actually had luck getting APRS to work on either one of those two radios. I've tried and tried and tried to get analog to work, and so I finally gave up on trying to get analog to work and tried DMR APRS. And it's just been great to use that to track my location when I'm out and about and just, you know, whatever else you might want to use APRS for. But I'll also say I would never trust APRS with my life. It's really just something I play around with. And like I said, I just track my location for fun, but I'm not going to get into the whole debate about APRS for life saving and all that. That's for another video. And the third thing that I want to talk about is the SMS messaging features on the Brandmeister network. Now there's some other features that are actually in another point on my video, but basically I think the SMS feature is pretty cool. I haven't seen this feature on any of the other networks. It's probably available on other ones, but I haven't seen it used on the Seabridge network or TGIF network, or I haven't really played around with DMR Mark that much, but I haven't seen it on there when I've actually been on there. So the ability to send SMS messages to somebody else is pretty cool. So you could SMS message your buddy on the Ramlesher network using his radio ID and be like, hey man, what talk group are you on? And you can talk to each other that way and say, hey, jump on this talk group, let's have a QSO. So I thought that was a cool feature that I would mention. And the fourth point that I wanted to talk about is actually related to the SMS messaging feature. So there are actually three automated services that you can send message to and get a message back from the Brandmeister server with whatever information you want. So the first one, you can send a query to get a weather report. You can submit, I think it's zip code and city name and state and country code, something like that. And the other one is you can submit an airport code and get METAR data 
uh, you know, for aviation. So if you're out trying to fly your drone and things like that, and you are trying to get a weather report, you can easily just send a command to the repeater and get that information sent right to your phone. And the second thing you can do is you can send a repeater query command and it'll tell you everything about the repeater, such as what talk groups are assigned to what time slots on that repeater. Pretty cool feature, thought I would mention that one. And there was one more thing that I was gonna mention too, and that's just the SMS capture feature. So basically what that does, if you have that enabled in the Brandmeister self-care portion of the dashboard, if somebody sends you a message and you're offline, basically what that does is it sends a confirmation back to the server when you receive it. And if you don't receive it, basically it just stores it in the cloud. And when you turn your radio back on and you receive that message finally, it'll stop trying to send that message. So that's pretty cool. Basically, if your radio is off or you're not listening, the server will keep sending that message until the server gets a response from your radio and says, hey, I received this message. I don't know if there's like a timeout on that or not, but uh, I haven't really dug into that feature a whole lot. Like I said, just getting started in all the SMS features of the Brandmeister network. And I just thought I would mention them in this video because I do think this is a pretty underused feature of the Brandmeister network that either people aren't using because they don't know about it or they just don't use it because they don't use it. But like I said earlier, those SMS features can definitely come in handy. And I will say this, just a disclaimer, I have not been able to get the messaging to fully work on my Anytone 878 yet. The main issue being right now that I can send messages and they will hit the Brandmeister server and I can get a response, but the response is not coming to my radio. For some reason the radio is not hearing the SMS message and sending it to my inbox on the radio, but I can intercept the message on the open spot and see the responses on automated messaging systems on Brandmeister on the open spot app. I also just kind of found out about SMS messaging and got into that over the past couple of days. So just be on the lookout. I'm probably gonna make a more in-depth video on the SMS messaging features of the Brandmeister network. And the fifth feature that I wanna mention is the ability to control the Brandmeister dashboard from your open spot or your PyStar hotspot. Super handy. It's nice to have all of the controls in one centralized spot where you can see everything about your hotspot and all the things that you need to control on your Brandmeister dashboard. And basically how you do that is you go to the Brandmeister website, generate an API key, and then plug that API key into uh, your open spot or your price star. There's a lot of videos out there talking about that, but I might make another video on that here down the road. But I just thought it was pretty cool to be able to link talk groups and uh, all the other things you can do on the Brandmeister dashboard and have it all in one centralized location, either through your open spot or your PyStar hotspot. I actually didn't know about that until I got my open spot and was setting it up and saw API key. I was like, I wonder what this does. And that's pretty much what it was. And then I got off on a rabbit trail about can you do this on the Pi Star and came to the conclusion that yes, you can. So like I said, I'll probably end up making a video on that some point down the road. And that is it for this video. I just wanted to tell you guys about some of the features on the Brandmeister network that I've found that I find pretty useful and I'm trying to use a little bit more of. And if you have not already, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Just helps out the channel and helps this video reach more people. And make sure to hit that notification bell so you get notified when I put up new videos. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, guys, 73.